right now, we've been talking about it's National Wear Red Day. You're going to see lots of red dress pins, lots of people dressed in red. And it's all about the American Heart Association using this day to unify everyone from coast to coast and everything. There are landmarks lit up in red. We showed you the Dublin Link. All of it for the common goal of eradicating heart disease and stroke. Together, we can wear red and be the big difference for a better life for women everywhere. So there are resources to help you celebrate all Heart Month long. Your Wake Up Seabus team welcoming special guests into the studio today to focus on hands-on Hands only, rather, CPR. Learning it so you can be ready in the event that you ever have to perform it. All right, you see my eager beaver students over there. First, let me welcome Genoa Township Fire Department Battalion Chief Brady Johnson. Thank you so much for coming in. And no I problem, know please. that this hands only CPR, this is really important to you. Share with our viewers just a little bit of what we're doing in the township to make people know how to do this. Sure. Uh, and any resident in Genoa Township, uh, we offer CPR classes to them for free. If you mm -hmm. live in Genoa Township or work in Genoa Township, we offer those classes for free. But in general, uh, CPR is something that everybody needs to know. Mm -hmm. And the American Heart Association is really pushing to start that education even at the middle school level and all the way through high school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, in 2015, I had some studies that there were 350,000 out of hospital cardiac arrest. Oh. And out of those numbers, less than 40% received layperson CPR. People are scared to do it. They are scared to do it. And, and, and we've made changes to CPR over the past several years mm -hmm. to make it easy. I mean, a full certification class, you can get done now in three or four hours. Wow. Okay. All right. So All right. it's not a two day class anymore. Mm -hmm. So we really want to focus on getting them in getting their hands on these like CPR mannequins. All right, like they're doing over here. Like they're doing so right now. Angela and Clay, okay. and they're over there with firefighter paramedic Ryan. Yes, yes McClain. Ryan McLean. And I was asking him, Tracy, like, how do you know you're doing it right? Because people are afraid. Like, I don't want to break anything. So you want to essentially go for two inches or one third of the depth of the chest, well, whichever is deeper, and you want to push hard and fast. Oh, gosh. You're going to feel popping and cracking. That's normal. You just keep going with it. Okay. And you go until we show up. Until you show up. Yep. And so, how important is it to start right away? I mean, even if you're not CPR certified, do you, you know, every second counts. It, does it help to just get started? Absolutely. So, we teach you that immediately start CPR for the first two minutes of you're by yourself. Then go get an AED. Nowadays, with 911, you can put your phone on speakerphone, sit it next to you. The great people at 911 will talk to you. They will count your CPR for you, and they will keep you calm. Well, they sing too because I hear you're supposed to. Do it to the tune of staying alive, right? It, yes. Tracy, they, start singing for us. Uh, you know what? I actually will not do that, but we will uh, have you all talk. Have but that's important. Talk. Absolutely. Right? Yes, because you do have to count your beats. Yes, you want 100 to 120 beats a minute. Oh. And, and tell me, too, I know a lot of people are f afraid of approaching a CPR because mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. But that's Absolutely. not the case anymore. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how things have changed over the years. With hands-only CPR, they've found that a doctor with an actor in very long after his last name found that very good, effective, high-rate CPR brings in enough room air oxygen to actually perfuse your brain. So if you decide to not do mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, you're still helping the person by doing immediate CPR. So... That's All right, so before we talk, do that, I wanted to have you talk about the AED, Chief, because you brought that in. Yeah. Um, and so those should be just anywhere. about everywhere, it sounds like. <coughs> they, they should be everywhere. Mm -hmm. They should be um, one here in your studio, mm -hmm. airports, doctor's offices. Um, you know, shopping malls, okay. you're starting to see them all over the place. All right, right? and they're easy to operate. They're easy to operate. Direct. I'm going to tell you one thing that you need to do with any AEDs, that's just make sure you turn it on. Okay. All right, either hit the on button, mm -hmm. lift the lid, it will tell you everything to do from there. All right. And uh, just to, to wrap up one thing here, and that's to make sure that people aren't scared to do CPR because they're not certified. Okay. All right. You don't have to be certified to do CPR. All the certification does is just validate, you know it. You take the class, you know what you're doing. All right. All right. Um, but anyone can do CPR, and there's good Samaritan laws that protect you from any liability. All right. Chief, thank you so much. Great you're information. And so we want to make sure that you get this information. You can find it at 10tv.com. It looks pretty easy to learn how to do, so make sure that you do that. You can get more information by downloading our free 10TV app. And